Have you ever wondered why nearly every galaxy, including our own Milky Way, harbors a supermassive black hole at its center? This question taps into a cosmic enigma that has intrigued astronomers for decades. These celestial behemoths lurking in the heart of galaxies are as mysterious as they are significant. They are the silent puppeteers pulling the strings of galaxies, including our own. In order to understand this better, we need to delve into what supermassive black holes really are. So, what exactly are these supermassive black holes? Let's dive right in. Supermassive black holes are quite literally a colossal mystery. They are a type of black hole, which are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. But these are not your ordinary black holes. They are millions, even billions, times more massive than our sun. But how do they get so big? Scientists have a few theories. One is that they start as smaller black holes that consume the surrounding matter, growing larger and larger. Another theory suggests that they may form from the collapse of an immense cloud of gas, skipping the smaller stages entirely. What makes these black holes super interesting is their role in the grand scheme of the universe. They sit at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way, acting like cosmic glue, holding everything together with their immense gravitational pull. They also influence the formation and evolution of galaxies. For example, when they gobble up matter, they emit intense radiation, which can prevent new stars from forming or even blow away the gas required for star formation. These cosmic behemoths, millions to billions times the mass of our sun, are not just fascinating objects of study, but they also hold the key to understanding the universe better. But why do galaxies seem to always have these supermassive black holes at their cores? This question has kept astronomers and astrophysicists on their toes, leading to fascinating theories and discoveries. One such theory is that of co-evolution, which suggests a symbiotic relationship between galaxies and their central black holes. It's like a cosmic dance where both partners grow together, influencing each other's steps. Just like a seed growing into a tree, a tiny black hole, over billions of years, swells into a supermassive one, feeding on the surrounding matter, while the galaxy around it grows too. But it's not just a one-way street. These black holes aren't just passive eaters, they're active shapers. They have a profound impact on how galaxies form and grow. Picture this, as a black hole gorges on matter, it ejects powerful jets of energy. This energy can heat up the surrounding gas, preventing it from collapsing and forming new stars. In this way, black holes can control the rate of star formation in their galaxies, effectively shaping their growth and evolution. It's a complex and intriguing relationship. A cosmic tango danced over billions of years. The dance is so intricately choreographed that it's hard to imagine one without the other. Without these supermassive black holes, galaxies as we know them might not even exist. So, in essence, supermassive black holes are the majestic enigmas at the heart of galaxies. They are celestial paradoxes having the power to both create and destroy. Their immense gravity shapes the very fabric of the cosmos, dictating the dance of stars around them. Yet their birth and evolution remain shrouded in mystery, an unsolved cosmic conundrum. While we have some answers, the existence of supermassive black holes continues to puzzle and captivate scientists, leaving us with more intriguing questions about our universe.